Mum wants you. What's the matter? Even you don't always look this out to lunch. OK, now no messing about. You can see her. I mean, really. What? Just tell me what I've got in my arms. A six-foot grenadier. A penguin. A lump of cheese. You're not kidding, are you? There is something seriously wrong with you. <laughs> More to you than meets my eye. She's not clever enough to pretend. She really couldn't see you. Perhaps I'm the only one who can. Oh, Harmony. I'm sorting through some jumble for the girl guides. You know, I'd really like you to join the guides. You could wear that nice uniform and sing songs. No way. I wouldn't mind the SAS. No. Oh, Harmony, what are you doing? You can't see her, can you? See whom? <gasps> yes, it worked. The power of the Queen's nose is beyond belief. <sighs> Harmony, don't go completely mad. I don't think I could stand it. Can I have a raw carrot? Yes, of course. Oh, and I want you to go to the market for me. I need some onions. Here's a pound. But she hates vegetables. <laughs> Ice cream. Because some of us want to have good complexions and not end up with spotty, blotchy faces and rancid breath. Well, it's a bit late in your case to worry about it then, isn't it? Mum, tell her to try and be a bit more sophisticated. You asked me for a carrot today, Harmony, so you must like healthy food. Please don't antagonise your sister. Try and be a bit different. I don't want to be different. I want to be like I am. What you are is a problem. Couldn't we trade her in for something better mannered like a chimpanzee? Chimps are intelligent, so you wouldn't understand what I was saying. Please, Harmony. Anyway, Melody is right. Fruit is good for you, isn't it, Arthur? Mm. Arthur? What? Fruit. Yes, indeed, it is fruit. Once again, your powers of observation have pushed forward the frontiers of human knowledge. Grief, Harmony, you ate that quickly. Harmony, manners, little barbarian. Can I leave the table? I have finished. No, you can stay there until you've learned to behave like a civilised... Ow! What's the matter now? What is going on? Something bit my foot. There's nothing there. There must be mice, or rats. Or twitching gerbils. Look, you can see teeth marks. Well, it wasn't me who bit you anyway. I wouldn't touch your foot with a toilet brush. Girl, stop squabbling. Melody, get your foot off the table, please. Oh, the scars will leave dreadful white marks in my suntan. I'll look awful in my new shoe. You'll have to go and lie down if this goes on. This family needs a new MOD if you ask me. <laughs> what are you doing? What does it look like? Playing with a crocodile. Harm, oh, you're crazy. Do you know my rabbit? Her name's Anita. Are you feeling all right? She's invisible to everyone except me. <laughs> Watch this. How'd you do that, Harm? I didn't. Anita did. The power of the Queen's nose. The wish worked, Tom. Do you believe me? I don't know. Maybe. Either you do or you don't. Right, I do. I really do. And if you can see her, I want to see her as well. You're asking a lot. No one else can. But I can try. And if I succeed, will you have a kickabout with me? Maybe. How about marrying me? Probably not. <laughs> but will you think about it? I might consider it. But no promises. Cool. I can see her. Liar. No, honest, I can. What colour is she then? Ginger and white with twitchy whiskers and a cheeky face. You can see her. I wonder how that happened. Probably because I wanted it so much. Come on, Anita. 
time for bed. Oh, and Tom, yeah, can you bring some food for Anita tomorrow? My family will get suspicious if I keep taking vegetables. Okay, see ya. Perhaps one day they'll change and be more like animals. You know, more human. Night, Anita. Night, Uncle Ginger. This is my latest number. It's called Parker Family Blues. Anita? Dad said you couldn't have any pets. You can see her then. Well, of course I can see her, you fool. Melody, just don't tell Mum and Dad. You must be joking, I. My top! I hate you, you little scrap! Anita didn't mean it, she just doesn't know the rules! Yeah, but you do. I'm gonna get you for this. And when I tell Mum and Dad about my top and that rodent, they'll ground you for a month. No pocket money until a new top is paid for. And that thing will go too. Harmony, where did you get that rabbit? You know the rule about pets. I just cannot bear the thought of something else running around this house, especially while you're on holiday. I told you so. 
She just sort of appeared. And she'll just have to sort of disappear, won't she? Yes, you know how your father hates pets. You always say it's Dad, but it's you who hates them, really. Anyway, I'm not getting rid of her. But Harmony, you're like a wild animal in this house as it is. We can't have two. Well, she's not a wild animal. She's dead friendly and intelligent. Not like you lot. That's enough. The rabbit goes. No! Oh, Harmony, come back here. Oh, my head. I wish they'd go. I wish I could trade them in. I wish... Wait a minute. I can trade them in. What do you think? Good idea? Yes, I knew you would. Harmony, come downstairs this minute! I'm coming! Even my smelly family couldn't resist the power of the Queen's nose. Harmony! I'm coming! I wish that my family were completely different. Do you think it'll work, Anita? I wonder what they'll be like. It couldn't be any worse. when he married me. Okay. Even where's him in the farm now? Yeah. <laughs> Got to make me feet free, haven't I? <laughs> I didn't mean you to be like this. What are you on about? Mum, what's she on about? Oh, I don't know, do I? Oh, I don't know, shut up, will you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the kitchen's oh, filthy. It. It's like no one's washed up for months. Yeah, it's your dad's turn to wash up, isn't it? It's your oh, turn. Yeah. I've got a great system for washing up. What's this? <laughs> We've really done it this time, Anita. Horrible. I mean, they were horrible before, but now they're disgustingly horrible. <sighs> yes, you're right. I could wish them back to normal, but then I'll have wasted two wishes. that monster I saw coming out of your house. What monster? The one with the bald head and tattoos. Oh, her. Melody. That's not your sister. Your sister's more like a Barbie doll. Not anymore, she's not. They've all changed and they can all see Anita, thanks to you. Why is it my fault? Because you saw her first. Anyway, everything always is. Thanks. Now they're all a bunch of disgusting slobs. It's been a nightmare. First off, Mum insisted I went shopping this morning. Oh, lovely, Chris. What a disaster. Oh, oh, Harmony, look. Oh, lovely. Excuse me, madam. Why, what you done? <laughs> I'm afraid it's against the law to eat something before you paid for it. Oh, yeah, who says so? Well, everyone. Well, I'm not everyone, am I? Eh? I'm Mrs. Audrey Parker. Well, then. I'm lowering to myself, as you might say. I'm afraid I shall have to call the police. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm afraid you won't. Come on, Harmony. Let's give old Snooty Boots a run for his Then, later on, things got worse. Dad came back with his old motorbike and insisted on taking me for a ride. <laughs> King of the road! <laughs> Great day for parking! Humiliation! My own dad bound over to keep the peace. 
then I'd insist took me to a burger bar. Mistake number three. Oh, lads, check it out. <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street. You've got to turn from the living room. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm going to give you a lesson on how to treat the opposite sex. Why? Because you're not. <laughs> <laughs> have you got a problem? No. But you have. Oh. Me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't talk to Skinner. Before long, old sis had pulverised them. Wow, all that just by wishing. Yeah, and now I don't know how to stop it. Can I see them? Come on then. But don't blame me if they eat you or something. It's fail, isn't it? Wicked! All real slobs! <laughs> what do you want, Midget? Uh, nothing. I just came to look at you. Oh, look at him, all skin and bone. Here, have a nice lard sandwich. I just made some. Uh, no thanks. I've got to go home and have some tea soon. Too much washing, that's his trouble. Look at me, son. I haven't washed in six weeks and I'm fit as a walrus. Yeah, you smell like one and all. <laughs> you old cheeky. <laughs> that's enough. I'm fed up with all of you. Oh? I want you to stop all this and get back to what you were before. <laughs> Oh, she's all upset, you know what she wants. Yes. <laughs> a nice, big, wet, sloppy kiss from her <laughs> dear old family. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we going to do about them? I don't know. <laughs> what happened? Well, he says I wasn't very ladylike. So I threw him through the door. What? Are you laughing at me? Perhaps you want to go through a door too. Oh, if only Uncle Ginger was here. Hello? Harmony, it's me. Uncle Ginger, how did you know I needed to speak to you? I got the message. I think you've wasted a wish, haven't you? Sort of, yes. I can hear the results. Ah! Now, there is a limit, you know. Remember the rhyme? No. Hang on. Ten's the limit and there's the rub. Ten wishes. Right. And beware of wishing for your heart's desire. If it's out, out of the frying, frying pan, pan, then it's into the fire. It's telling me to be careful of what I want, isn't it? Right. But I think you're going to have to use another wish to get things back to normal. But I've got a rabbit and they might make me get rid of her. Perhaps. But you have to make the wish and take the risk, don't you? I suppose so. I'm going to have to go now, Harmony. I'll be thinking of you. Ah! <laughs> I wish that my family would go back to how they were before. Help! Help! Oh no. Something's gone wrong. Oh, come on. Help, Harmony, please! Please help me! Let's see. I did everything right. Rubbed the Queen's nose on the coin. Made the wish. Look, you guys, I really, really mean it. I want you back. Like you were. Dad, honest. I believe you can. Melody, please come back. Help me. Even though I hate you, I've no one to argue with. Mum, please come. I really want you back. Mom. I love you. Harmony. <laughs> Tom, 
What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> back, you're back. Can you remember anything? Daft as a brush. Don't be the centipede and happy as a hyena. Hi, Daft. Harmony, if I were to visit your planet, what sort of life forms could I expect to find? Hmm, good question. Highly intelligent life forms, the harmonium vertebrate, and the Damascus ignoramus. Yes. And the... yes, 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 yes. Now go and. I'll go and feed my rabbit. Oh, yes, your rabbit. Yes. <laughs> what do you think, Arthur? Hmm? Arthur? What? What do you think? I'm sure you're about to tell me, my dear. Perhaps you can keep the rabbit. If? But she's got to get rid of it, you said. If there are no more accidents, then perhaps you can keep her. Isn't that what we've decided, Arthur? I'm sure we have, if you say so. Oh, yes, cool. Well, it's not fair. You told her she couldn't have any pets. Yes. Well, they've changed their minds to put a sock in it. Come on, let's go and give an to the good news. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Ginger. She is beautiful, isn't she? Yeah. Funny, that. How she was invisible one minute, and not the next. Perhaps she didn't need to be invisible anymore. Your parents were ready to accept her. Everything must have a purpose. Even invisibility. Harmony? Oh, how extraordinary. What is? Well, I was just going to ask you if you had a 50 pence piece for the stamp machine, and there you are, holding one. Oh, a little miracle, really. Here you are, five tens. You, you can't have this one. Well, no, it's not. Come along. No way, Ozai. This one's special. Oh, Harmony, don't be so ridiculous. And don't pull that face at me. I keep your distance face. People have died by ignoring it. Harmony, will you please stop all this nonsensical nonsense and give me that coin? No! Yes! Give it to me! <sighs> I wish I'd get this back. Silly girl. Mom, this means more. <coughs> Harmony, I'm <coughs> Don't be so silly. Stop it this minute. Oh, very well. Take your silly yeah. coin and just wait till your father gets home. Oh! Sorry, the door was open. 